All right, YouTube. I had a request for a video about Windows Media Center in Windows 7. So I'm going to do a quick comparison of Windows Media Center, not Windows Media Player, but Media Center in Windows XP Media Center Edition 2005 with Service Pack 3, Windows Vista Ultimate Service Pack 1, and Windows 7 Ultimate Beta 1, official Beta 1 Build 7000. Um, I'll do a real, real quick hardware spec review. This is the IBM ThinkPad T42, half a gig of RAM, 512 mg, 1.75 GHz Pentium M735 processor, 40 gig hard drive, Windows XP Media Center Edition, Service Pack 3, 32 bit edition. Over here, this is the HP Pavilion DV6809WM, Windows Vista Ultimate, Service Pack 1, 64 bit edition. 4 gig of DDR2 RAM AMD Turion X64 uh, TL60 processor 1 meg cache 2 gigahertz per core 120 gig hard drive IBM ThinkPad or Lenovo ThinkPad Z61T 9442E7U 2 gig of RAM Intel uh, Centrino Duo 2 gigahertz 2 cores um, <laughs> 2 gig RAM Windows 7 Ultimate Beta 1 7, 000, built 7000. Alright, so let's start out with Windows XP's. And this was the first year that Microsoft put Media Center, or this, the, this program, in the operating system. And it says my video card is not compatible, that's because it's a horrible video card, but it actually does work, not with full graphical effects. I will say, like, that should be animated, but it is not. This essentially has everything that Windows Vista and Windows 7 do, but it is not as advanced. Like we can go into pictures, sorry about that phone. Uh, we can look at some pictures here, they, looks like they've integrated landscape pictures. It's obviously functional, and it, it's a nice program. You can record TV, it's decent, it works. There we go with Windows XP Media Center Edition. Windows Vista got a lot better here. They even changed the shortcut icon. It does take a little while to open. It's got to cache a lot of stuff in the RAM. Did I even hit it? For 4 gig of RAM and a 4 gigahertz processor and 64-bit Vista, you'd think this would be faster, but maybe not. Anyways, all right, here we are. Looks a little bit different, actually. How about I open this over here too? Change the sounds a little bit. You can use the mouse or the arrow keys. Now this video card is a bit better, obviously. 128 meg over here from the video. Um, and then you can watch TV here, internet TV, beta, look at pictures, record TV. It Really functionality wise, they didn't add a whole lot from Windows XP. It just looks a little bit better, change the sounds, uh, a little, little bit easier to use, maybe a couple more tasks, like you can do extenders and stuff from here. Anyways, nice program, takes a while to open, not something that I'd be using every day because I don't have the video inputs to record live TV. So let's take a look at it in Windows 7 here. Um, that's, you won't have that thing there. But it looks a little bit different, if you can see there. It's got the same basic thing. I don't think they added anything new. But it is a little bit different than the um, XP's, Vista's, and then 7's. So in every edition they've changed it a little bit. Like there it says 5 o'clock. It looks like it says the same thing over here and then over here it just says Media Center. So obviously they have done a couple different things. A um, little bit easier. They kind of move some things around. I actually do not see the, um, the TV, the internet TV like that's over here which is kind of kind of cool you can watch not live TV like changing the channels but it is kind of neat because you can look up history channel or, or the news or something and actually stream that over the internet if you've got a good internet connection 
And over here I don't see that. It's not under TV. But anyways, they really didn't change a lot. Like, if we go into my music library, um, it's going to be really or unorganized. All my album artwork's messed up. Let's go into the Beatles. And probably first one here. And the animation... Excuse me, let me mute the speaker there. But you can actually see how it puts the album art of all kinds of other different albums, which is really messed up, actually. Because I haven't, I haven't imported; it's just randomly found it on my computer. But it puts it in the background, and then it scrolls, and it's very animated, very transparent, and I really like it. They, I think they did a really, really great job with that. Now let's go take a look at that on Windows or in Windows Vista. If oh boy, this the battery's low on this, so it's it's gone into power save mode. Yeah, it looks like we're going to get there the same way, and it's not not going to set up my library. Let's go into the same album. It is very animated and still very nice in Windows Vista, but it's not as animated, and then you don't get the uh, animation of the different albums in the background like you do see there in Windows uh, Windows 7. You get all those different, and they, they kind of move. Sorry about that. In Windows Vista, they don't move because there's none. But you do get some little waves back there. Kind of reminds me of Media Player. In Windows XP, I don't think I actually have any music on this machine. Looks like we're going to find out momentarily. Nope. Let's see if it can find any. So it found look, looks like a Windows XP sample track. Play that. Um, and it really looks almost the same as Windows Vista's. And with Windows 7, they did a really, really good job making that very animated, transparent, everything kind of slides around. Yes, like a Mac, Windows is finally figuring out how to do a little bit more advanced graphics. So as you can see it's going to give you some song details and you can burn it, buy it, delete the song, edit information, rate it. So in all, all three media centers are very nice programs that I'm really glad Windows integrated into the operating system itself. Um, they can definitely go farther and versus iTunes, I'd say they're between two and five times as good as iTunes. I don't actually have iTunes installed on any of these three computers because I hate the software so much. It takes like 40 seconds to load. I only use it because I have to use that to sync to an iPod. And there goes the battery. So anyhow, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope that can help you guys kind of distinguish between Media Center 2005 and then what they did in 2006, 2007. And here we are now in 2009. So Microsoft's really improved. They've, they've, they've done a great job in Windows Media Center 7. And... Uh, Great things from Microsoft again, so thanks for watching.